Good afternoon. I would like to welcome you to this year's Honor Day program. Thank you for coming today and showing your support to the students at TRA. Honors Day is the culmination of all hard work, of all hard work in a year of study. It is the day when we students can say, I've done it. Once again, thank you for coming. Let's pray. Dear Lord, thank you for waking us up this morning. And just thank you for letting us go to a school where we can freely worship you. Thank you for the gifts and talents that you've given these students. And I pray that we would use those gifts um, only to glorify and honor you. And it's in your precious name we pray. Amen. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Honors Day celebrations. Um, at this time, we would like to recognize the new inductees to the National Honor Society. To be eligible for membership in the TRA chapter of the National Honor Society, a student must maintain a 3.25 GPA, display excellence in character and leadership, be willing to serve, and be an upcoming junior or senior. Would all eligible members please listen to the following question, then respond by saying, I will. Will you pledge to uphold the high purposes of the National Honor Society to which you have been selected, to be true to the principles for which it stands, and to maintain and encourage the high standards of scholarship, leadership, service, and character? Thank you. And now, as your name is called, please step forward onto the stage to receive your certificate and pen. We got 31 names to read off here, so if y'all would please hold your applause to the end, that would help this go much quicker. Um, Camden Baker, Camden, it's going to take you forever to go that way. Why don't you come on this side? Chloe Barnett, Addie Beasley. Taylor Biggs, Coulter Bridgers, Brenna Byers, Tatum Chandler, Madison Clement. If you could please hold your applause until the end, that would be wonderful. Thank you. Mary Leslie Cranford, Matthew Crow, Abby Dallas, Josie Daniel, Emma Kate Davidson. Cammie Davis, Allie English, Noe Flores, Lake Fly, Mac Fullen, Alicia Gutierrez, Carson Irby, Jessica Manley, Eva McIntosh, Camden McLemore, Meredith Owen, Nick Pitsos, Natalie Smith, Lexi Williams, Will Young, Chris Edmondson, AJ Green, Callista Newman. Congratulations, new members of the National Honor Society. Young folks, I haven't had to do this often, but I expect a little bit better behavior. When we ask no applause, we mean no applause. We don't need the cat calling or anything else. We are honoring students, not making fun of them. Hi, 
right, I'm going to recognize uh, those students who have been or will be inducted into Mu Alpha Theta, which is the Mathematics Honor Society. Um, to be eligible, you must have all A's in all your math classes um, through high school. Um, so these are a lot of the same kids are going to be coming back up. So first is Chloe Barnett, Coulter Bridges, Bridgers, I'm sorry, Coulter, Tatum Chandler, Mary Leslie Cranford, Matthew Crow, Abby Dallas, Allie English, Lake Fly, Eva McIntosh, Natalie Smith, and Lexi Williams. Congratulations, guys. Good afternoon. Uh, this year, Tipton Rosemark Academy ranked as one of the top five schools for the most students selected into the 2017 Honor Choir. Uh, that is regionally. Uh, they were also recognized uh, at the state and at the all-national level. This is our first year to have this many students uh, selected into these awards. So if you'll hold your applause till the very end, and students, as you come, if you'll remain up here, because many of you are receiving more than one award. Uh, we had two first chairs. Uh, that's out of 700 students. We, uh, our students are selected based on their vocal parts, soprano, alto, tenor, bass. And we were fortunate enough to have two first chairs for our entire region. And those go to Mason O'Brien and to Daniel Craddock. And then as I call your name, please come up here and remain. These are the All West Honor Choir Award recipients by their chair ranking. Hutch Donovan, third chair. Bryce McLean. Third chair, please hold your applause. Brooke Harwell, seventh chair. Cooper Thorpe, eighth chair. Joshua Rickard, ninth chair. Bethany Crane, tenth chair. Madison Clement, eleventh chair. Charlie Rice, twelfth. Josh Waits, fifteenth. Emily Crane, Kristen Jeffrey also placed in our top 20th percentile there as well. Okay, let's give these students a hand. Okay, and if you'll remain, we also have uh, five-year All-West Awards. Those people have not come yet because they got special ranking um, as well as making All-West Honor Choir. Uh, our five-year All-West Awards are Gracie Easley, second chair, Carrie Close, third chair, Megan Gilbreth, 10th chair, and Chloe Crowder, 14th chair. These are our five-year. That means they've received All-West Honor Choir five years in a row. Let's give those a hand.
Our six-year All-West Honor Choir Awards are the trophies you see. That means they've received it from 7th through 12th grade uh, with high rankings. They are Tucker Pittman, Alexi Dillard, third chair, Caitlin Stewart, fourth chair, and, of course, we've already uh, mentioned Mason O'Brien, first chair. We're almost through. We're almost through. All right, we had uh, three of our students receive special recognition and were chosen uh, for the All National Honor Choir with one alternate. Just to uh, show y'all how important this was for our school, uh, there were only five candidates chosen from the state of Tennessee, and we had two of those, and uh, we had one alternate. So these students deserve a hand for their um, recognition in that. And so these are, um, Gracie Easley was our alternate. <laughs> Gracie, I've got a certificate for you. And then our other two all-national honor choir uh, were Lexi Dillard and Mason O'Brien. And uh, our All-State Honor Choir Awards this year go to Caitlin Stewart, Mason O'Brien, Carrie Close, and Gracie Easley. And our final recognition goes to an individual who scored uh, best soloist for the entire all-national uh, choir competition we just uh, went to in New York. This is his second year to receive this honor of the top soloist of the entire national choir competition, Mason O'Brien. All right, I'm very proud of these students. Let's leave them one more hand. The Wendy's High School Heisman Award is presented each year to outstanding student athletes who demonstrate excellence in the classroom, on the athletic field, and in service to their community. This year's High School Heisman Award winner is Brittany Hall. Uh, Tipton Organized to Advance Leadership Program is co-sponsored by Covington Tipton Chamber of Commerce and the South Tipton Chamber of Commerce. This year, students attended sessions on team building, criminal justice, education, health care, economic development, and government. TRA had six students who completed total this year. They are Allison Davidson, Dawson Feathers, Jack Flanders, Ashton Pickard, Jake Roan, Keelan Seeley, and Neely Turner.
TRA had 50 science club students participate at the University of Memphis Engineering Day in October of this school year. TRA had more top three finishes than any other school that attended. The following students were recognized because of their placement while competing against 20 to 40 other student groups depending on the competition category and about 20 area high schools were represented. We're going to call these by each of the groups. Uh, first in the boat competition were the team of Sam Hopper, Balsamo Sinis, Neely Turner, Maggie Stevens, and Jackson Pennington. <laughs> first in biomaterial design were Lexi Dillard, Adam Harrell, that's wrong, Adam Harwell, sorry, <laughs> Caitlin Byers, and Mackenzie Chapman. Second place in the kicker was Parker Wells, Ben Lotholm, Dawson Feathers, and Carter Weekly. The following team placed in two different categories. This team placed third in kicker and third in transportation challenge. This is the team of Caleb Thomas, Landon Shelby, Tucker Pittman, and Donald Crow. Third place in the cardboard beam competition were the team of Elizabeth Griffin, Sarah Grevy, Autumn Payne, and Brenna Grace Lockhart. And third place in egg drop was the team of Franklin Garner, Jake Roan, Clayton Brown, and Shay Nolan. The Varsity Beta Club is a service organization where students are asked to keep up with academic expectations as well as participate in various service activities for their school and their community. The Varsity Beta members volunteered at numerous activities at school including the PTO Fall Carnival, concession stands, summer camps, recitals, etc. We also headed up our Thanksgiving food drive this year in connection with the Bread of Life ministry. At this time, I would like to recognize our Blade of Club officers who spend a lot of time and effort with these activities and help make our induction program this fall successful. Our president, Kelly Alexander. <laughs> Vice President, Sydney Pilkington. <laughs> Treasurer, Brittany Hall. and Secretary Caitlin Stewart. The National Beta, headquartered in South Carolina, recognizes outstanding young people in 39 different states, the District of Columbia, China, Hungary, Puerto Rico, and Russia. The National Beta encourages its members to continue education beyond high school. They do this through their National Scholarship Program. Today we are honored to have a student who is recognized as one of the 257 top National Beta recipients in the country. Members of the Beta are not only high academic achievers, they also lead and are service-minded individuals. While grades and ACT scores help determine the beta scholarships, it's the leadership and service activities that the betas do that help draw the winners from the top. 
With over 500,000 members, one of our own was selected as the top 257 betas in the country. The student exemplifies the beta ideals and academic achievement, leadership, character, and service of the beta club. This student is clearly an outstanding member of the class of 2018. At this time, we'd like to recognize Rebecca Watson. Please come forward and accept the certificate and your $1,000 scholarship. Community Service Award goes to the students who go above and beyond the classroom, they go to our community. As a Beta Club sponsor, I also keep track of all service hours in the high school. We require all the Beta members to perform at least eight hours of internal service hours for TRA. We also though like to recognize those students who have at least 20 hours of documented community service, whether it's inside or outside of the classroom or school, in addition to their senior service requirement. The following students have 20 hours of documented service. Callie Alexander. Anna Applebaum. Alex Langford. Mason O'Brien. Sydney Pilkington. Tucker Pittman. Caitlin Stewart. Rebecca Watson. Carrie Close. Jack Flanders. <laughs> Megan Gilbreth. <laughs> Elizabeth Griffin. <laughs> Caitlin Pfeiffer. <laughs> Emily Crane. <laughs> and Keelan Seeley. We honor our seniors who are serving on our student council by presenting them with a medal for their part participation in one of the most important organizations in our school. This, those students receiving a medal this year are President Brittany Hall, <laughs> Vice President Sydney Pilkington, <laughs> Secretary Caitlin Stewart, Chaplain Lauren Caradine, Historian Bethany Crane, Treasurer Logan Carson, Callie Alexander, Haley Ramsey, McKenna Phillips, Lexi Dillard, and Rebecca Watson.
It is my privilege to present the 2017-18 Student Council President Award to Brittany Hall. ACT 30 plus club um, when I call your names could you just please stand there is going to be a plaque that's going to be put in the foyer of the high school with your names on them 30 ACT 30 plus cl club composite score of 30 or higher Callie Alexander Anna Applebaum <laughs> Eric Brunson Lauren Caradine Bethany Crane please stand Bethany Crane, Donald Crow, Adam Depperschmidt, Lexi Dillard, Riggs Dowdy, Brittany Hall, Adam Harwell, Parker Hevner, Raven Swing, David Jacobs, Christian Jeffrey, Alex Langford, Zach McCraney, Mason O'Brien, Spencer Robertson, Caleb Thomas, Hannah White, Megan Burgess, Jack Flanders, Megan Gilbert, Sarah Greavy, Sam Hopper, Br Brenna Lockhart, Shay Nolan, Caitlin Pfeiffer, Jake Roan, Seth Sumro, Neely Turner, Stan White, Allie English, Lake Fly, Hale Parchman, Noah Rowland, Brooke Cox. Everyone, please give these students a round of applause. <laughs> On April 10th, 32 students from Tipton Rosemark Academy attended this. 62nd annual mathematics competition sponsored by TMTA, the Tennessee Mathematics Teacher Association, at Dyersburg State Community College in Dyersburg. The following students participated and are receiving a certificate of participation from the TMTA. In Algebra 2, Elizabeth Laudam, Hutch Dunavant, Davis Cox, Noah Rowland, and Hale Parchman. In geometry, Lake Fly, Chloe Barnett, Allie English, and Abby Dallas. In pre-calculus, Megan Gilbreth, Sam Hopper, Ben Laudam, Maggie Stevens, and Neely Turner. In the first year, we were able to compete in statistics, Zach McCraney, Riggs Dowdy, Lexi Dillard, Callie Alexander, Lauren Caradine, and Stan White. In advanced math and calculus topics, Eric Brunson, Ashlyn Henshaw, Bethany Crane, Jack Flanders, Chris Edmondson, Kristen Jeffries, and Donald Crow. Hold up. 
Sorry about that. Okay, the following students will also receive a certificate for placing the top 10 of their respective categories. First, um, placing seventh place in Algebra 2, Davis Cox. Next, pacing fourth in the geometry category, Lake Fly. <laughs> Placing tenth in the pre-calculus category, Neely Turner. Eighth in the statistics category, Lauren Carradine. Tenth place in statistics, Riggs Dowdy. And last but not least, receiving a plaque for placing first in the statistics category, Mr. Stan White. Thank you. It's my honor to present the President's Award for Academic Excellence. The purpose of this award is to recognize academic success in the classroom. And to be eligible for this award, a student must have at least a 3.5 GPA and high scores on the National ACT Test Composite Score. The 2018 President's Awards for Academic Excellence is awarded to the following students. Callie Alexander. Anna Applebaum. Logan Carson. Lauren Caradine. Bethany Crane. Donald Crow. Lexi Dillard. Riggs Dowdy. Chris Edmondson. Brittany Hall. Ashlyn Henshaw. David Jacobs. Kristen Jeffrey. Alex Langford.
Mason O'Brien. Sydney Pilkington. Tucker Pittman. Caitlin Stewart. Raven Swing. Caleb Thomas. And Rebecca Watson. The Academic Achievement Certificate goes to those students who have made the headmaster's list or honor roll two out of the three grading periods. Please hold your applause so the end will recognize you by each class. For the freshman, Evan Coates. Meg Fullen. Heath Harold, Ryan Hill, Porter Hughes, Charlie Rice, Brooklyn Rose, Corbin Standridge, Cooper Thorpe, Those are your Freshman Academic Achievement Award winners. For the sophomore class, Addie Beasley, Tatum Chandler, Madison Clement, May Leslie Cranford, Matthew Crow, Abby Dallas, Josie Daniel, Mac Fullen. Eva McIntosh, Nick Pitsos, Natalie Smith,
Lexi Williams. Those are your sophomore academic achievement award winners. For the junior class, Andrew Anderson. Megan Burgess. Terry Close. Dawson Feathers, Jack Flanders, Franklin Garner, Ben Lodholm, Jay Nolan, Autumn Payne, Ashton Pickard, Jackson Rickard, Peyton Ryan, Valsamo Sinis, Maggie Stevens, Seth Sumro. Josh Waits, Stan White, Those are your junior class academic achievement award winners. For the senior class, Eric Brunson, Logan Carson, Donald Crow. Adam Depperschmidt, Riggs Dowdy, Emily Fisher. AJ Green, Brittany Hall, Parker Hevner, Maddie Irby.
Bailey May. Corey Mitson. Mason O'Brien. Sydney Pilkington. Tucker Pitt. Haley Ramsey. And Swing. Caleb Thomas. Carter Weekly. Parker Wells. Rachel Whitley. Those are your senior class academic achievement award winners. The academic excellence certificate is presented to those students who have achieved the highest level of academic performance by making the headmaster's list two out of three grading periods. Those students receiving certificates are ninth grade, Jordan Allen, Davis Cox, Emily Crane, Hutch Donovan, Patrick Green, Lydia Grigsby, Elizabeth Lottom, Bryce McLean, Gracie Newman, Hale Parchman, Noah Rowland, Aiden Sprinkle, Ethan Stewart, Mary Catherine Turner, Emma Kate Wilder. Those are your ninth grade academic excellence <laughs> awardees. Tenth grade, Coulter Bridgers, Lake Fly, Allie English, and Chloe Barnett. That was your 10th grade. 11th grade, Zoe Brainerd, Clayton Brown,
Gracie Easley. Megan Gilbreth. Sarah Grevy. Elizabeth Griffin. Sam Hopper. Brenna Lockhart. Caitlin Pfeiffer. And Neely Turner, your 11th grade recipients. Now for the 12th grade. Callie Alexander. Rebecca Anderson. Anna Applebaum. Caitlin Byers. Lauren Carradine, <laughs> Carradine, sorry. There you go. Mackenzie Chapman, Shelby Clifton, Bethany Crane, Lexi Dillard, Chris Edmondson, Ashlyn Hinshaw, David Jacobs, Kristen Jeffrey, Alex Langford, McKenna Phillips. Landon Shelby, Caitlin Stewart, Rebecca Watson. Each month, a student at TRA is chosen by the South Tipton County Chamber of Commerce. Uh, these students excel academically and are positive leaders here at TRA. The following students have been honored this year. When I call your name, if you would please come to the stage. For September, the student of the month was Mason O'Brien.
The October student of the month was Donald Crow. November was Brittany Hall. December, December was Alex Langford. January, Callie Alexander. February, McKenna Phillips. March, Landon Shelby. April, Lexi Dillard. May, Caitlin Stewart. The 2017-18 Student of the Year, Miss Brittany Hall. Uh, it's also my privilege to hand out the awards for the seniors with the highest averages. The senior with the highest average in math is a three-way tie between Callie Alexander, Lauren Caradine, and Rachel Whitley. The senior with the highest average in English is another tie between Lexi Dillard and Mackenzie Chapman. The senior with the highest average in science is Lauren Caradine and Mackenzie Chapman. And the senior with the highest average in history is Caitlin Stewart.
The Lamp of Knowledge Award is presented to the student in each grade who has achieved the highest overall academic average during the current school year. The freshman with the highest average is Davis Cox. The sophomore with the highest average is Allie English. The juniors tied for highest average are Sarah Grevy, Elizabeth Griffin, and Samantha Hopper. And the seniors tied for highest average are Callie Alexander and Caitlin Stewart. At this time, I'd like to welcome to the stage Miss Suzanne Davidson. Good afternoon. Each year, we seek middle and high school students to volunteer to serve as student ambassadors. This select group of students assist myself and school administration at various school-sponsored events such as the College Fair, Grandparents Day, Shadow Days, Open House events, etc. I'd like to take a moment to thank these high school students for representing TRA this year during um, on and off campus events and present them each with a certificate. I have a lot of names, so um, please hold your applause until we are finished. Addie Beasley. Megan Burgess, Tatum Chandler, Madison Clement, Carrie Close, Davis Cox, Mary Leslie Cranford, Allison Davidson, Emma Kate Davidson, Lexi Dillard, Dawson Feathers, Megan Gilbreth. Lydia Grigsby, Brittany Hall, Gracie Jones, Alex Langford, Eva McIntosh, Meredith Owen, Autumn Payne, Sydney Pilkington, Tucker Pittman, Jake Roan, Keelan Seeley, Maggie Stevens, I've lost track, Caitlin Stewart, I don't know if I said your name or not, but double thank you, Neely Turner, Josh Waite, Rebecca Watson, Lee.
Lexi Williams. Thank you all for your help this year. Before I close this and uh, have Mr. Cole come up and close us in prayer, I just wanted to let the students know, especially those ninth graders, that what you've seen today, you've seen the majority of the students as they go through the career at TRA, they have a sense of accomplishment. They will be recognized in some form or fashion at some point during their high school careers. And that's what you need to strive for, each one of you. You need to, at some point, make it at a point that you try to cross this stage in one of these categories. And it's, it is within your ability to accomplish. Don't take no for an answer. You should all do it. Parents, I thank you for coming today. And, you know, this is especially for those that have seniors. This is uh, the end of a four years and uh, a lot of hard work, a lot of anguish, a lot of uh, questioning whether you're going to survive your children's teenage years because it is difficult. And they don't understand it yet. And especially for those seniors, they're about to walk out the door and life is about to hit them square between the eyes. <laughs> and I know, I know that feeling. Uh, but we, uh, we wish them all well, and we hope that they will all do well, because this high school experience is only a phase. It's only a step. And they all have to take the next step, and hopefully they will. And they will continue to climb the ladder. And I will tell you, parents, as someone that has grown children, I've got four, it doesn't stop for you. It doesn't ever stop. The worry never stops. The looking out for them will never stop. But all you can do is pray that you have done all that you can do and you set the right examples and led them in the right way and provided them the foundations that they need for life and to follow the Lord. That's all you can ask for. I've got one more award I've got to make, but I'm going I'm to do that over in my office. I just need about four young men to uh, come receive their award. Uh, Mason, Alberto, Jacob, and Grayson. Y'all come see me a little bit later. I have an award for you. Don't worry. Uh, I will tell you this. And for those that don't know, this is my last year here. You are at one of the finest schools anywhere in the state of Tennessee. I've been at many, many different schools. I've now uh, been at, uh, this is actually my 10th school that I've been an administrator in. And this is probably the best bar none. And I've been at two or three other private schools also. Because when you look at the school, you look at the whole school atmosphere and the life and the experience that the kids get. And there is none no better than TRA. Mr. Cole, you'll close it.
Would you bow with me in a closing word of prayer and then we'll be dismissed? Father, Son, and Spirit, we give you thanks and praise for you are the giver of all good gifts. Thank you for having given these students the good gifts of intelligence and hard work, and we pray that you would continue to give them the grace and strength and wisdom to use your gifts in order to make this world a better place and to speed the coming of your kingdom. It's in your son's name we pray. Amen. Students, you'll report back to your sixth period class for dismissal.